<clears throat> what is going on ladies and gentlemen and people my camera is blurry there we go it focuses in uh, I have a new camera I've made remade this video 13,000 times I made it on Christmas I made it last night and I am making it tonight hoping to upload this one I hope you guys had a great Christmas I hope you guys have a great New Year's because gosh knows this might be my last video of 2023 a lot has gone on this year so yeah I did a, an amazing almost 10 hour live stream uh, last night on the 26th, if you guys missed it. Uh, that was on my Twitch channel. Um, I talked for about like the first hour that I built this huge ass castle <laughs> that I got um, from the Lego, Lego architecture stuff. But uh, anyways, let's get right into the video before we get into a minute in. Without talking about the Raiders. Now, I'm going to make a video at the end of the year about what every team should do. Because teams are already making their decisions kind of quite clear. With the Broncos basically saying for the future, right now, Russell Wilson isn't going to be our quarterback. Which makes it a lot of people wonder, where's Russell Wilson going to go now? And the Raiders could be a possibility. Um, the Raiders are a team that... Well, you ain't trading them. But the Raiders are a team that have so many questions but it's like a domino effect to the questions do only some of those pieces in in the puzzle can they take out from the middle like the Renfro situation the Jacob situation other than that it's pretty much a domino effect because if they were not to keep Antonio Pierce the dominoes will fall into place if Antonio Pierce stays there's only a few dominoes that get taken out so let's just say hypothetically the Raiders don't have really many options Eric Bieniemy really hasn't been officially announced as one of those guys that are going to be a head coach uh, we've heard that name for three years when it comes to head coaching um, the Lions and Chargers offensive coordinators both looking for head coaching jobs um, you know, it's going to be an interesting situation for a lot of teams. And for the for the Raiders especially, I feel like Antonio Pierce has done such a great job, you have to keep him. Now, I'm not saying sign him to a long-term executive contract that says, okay, you know, I want this guy, this guy, and this guy to, you know, you just, it's hard to figure out a situation where the Raiders can get out of this smoothly. Because think about it. No matter what happens, decision making is tough. Because if the Raiders end up winning after, if they keep Antonio Pierce, it's going to be one of the best decisions of all time. If they lose, it's a different question. But when you look at teams, right? If Antonio Pierce stays, he has just had this team bought in from the very beginning since he's taken over and if you don't believe me let's look at his record and I'm going to tell you guys realistically let's just really consider how good the defense has also been since this they destroyed the Raiders 30 to 6 first game without uh whatever his name was see he was so terrible Josh McDaniel Jesus it was so he was so bad I forgot his name they beat the Jets but two defenses had a good game. I think it's really the quarterback here. Uh, they lost to the Dolphins, but let's be honest, the turnovers didn't help. They could have beaten the Dolphins. They did very good in the first half against the Chiefs, then they fell apart. They did very well against the Vikings. It's like the, the let's not just say like the Vikings did tear. I mean, they it was a tough game, and the Raiders did get a little bit embarrassed. But at the same time, like the Raiders could have done that game justice. Um. They destroy the Chargers, and then they have a great game against the Chiefs. But the offense was terrible. So I think the biggest question is, if Antonio Pierce stays, now this is the one domino effect that moves no matter who's the head coach. Whether Jim Harbaugh decides, and that's the only guy who I actually think that might take over Pierce's spot. I think if in a guy like Jim Harbaugh, and he makes it clear like, hey, the Raiders are an option for me, I will not be shocked if, you know, the owner picked up the phone, called him, hey, let's have a conversation. I don't want to get rid of Pierce yet unless I know you're going to be a Raider. Um, 
And then that's going to bring a d- new domino effect to the quarterback position because you never know if he, he's going to say, okay, well, let me go get J.J. McCarthy because, you know, that was the guy I had in college. I want to continue to build him up in his career. And I think that would be interesting for a guy like Harbaugh if he can come into the NFL and draft his quarterback he would just spend, what, the last three to four years with. Um but if they keep Antonio Pierce, I think they should just get a new quarterback room in general. Now that Russell Wilson sounds like he's going to be on that board, I mean, unless you're trading for him, which you wouldn't trade him to a divisional rival, anyways, um, I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna really look at free agency personally. There's only a few names that look good tradable wise. I mean, if the Bears go for a new quarterback, yes, that seems like a good decision to maybe go get Justin Fields. But I'm my asking price is low because they're the ones that are giving up on him. Um, if I'm the, I mean, if Kirk Cousins is available, obviously I think they should jump in that. I don't think they will. I think he'll resign with the Vikings. Um, but there's not a lot of teams that really need quarterbacks. Like it, it's so interesting. It's so weird to hear this draft class. If a lot of people commit to go into the draft, this draft class is going to be very strong with QBs. Like QBs will be taken first, second, third round. And then you're going to have all these other guys that don't aren't wanted by their teams and then they have to go somewhere and somebody's got to play, play a backup role. I think the Raiders, no matter what, unless they're getting a rookie quarterback, should get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo. That is my personal opinion. I think they should get rid of Jimmy G. I think Aiden O'Connell is good enough to be a backup quarterback. I don't think he's good enough to be a starting quarterback. I think he's proven that since he started. I mean, he hasn't looked good in many games. I mean, the Chargers game, he looked good. But, of course, who who wouldn't have looked good in that game? The whole team looked great. But he didn't do good against the Chiefs the first time. He didn't do good against the Dolphins. That's why they lost, because he turned over the ball so much. So, I mean, I think that you need to go get a new quarterback. And if that's the question, who do they go get? And I think that if you're in a spot that is good, there's one name who's going to rise above everybody, I think, in the draft class. And it's early, so we don't know. But you, we all know there's that one name that every year just starts rising and rising through the combine all the way to the draft day. And I think that's going to be the Heisman Trophy winner. And he has a connection with Antonio Pierce that would be interesting if he was drafted to the Raiders because then that is a hell of hell of a connection. And now once again you have a duo that know each other, that know their strengths and weaknesses, and now that is going to be good for the Raiders moving forward. Let's talk about the rest of their offense though. The rest of their offense looks like an interesting situation. I think they've always had a mediocre offensive line. It's never been terrible, but it's never been great. You know, it's weird. They get good production out of their out of their guys. But I do think you might want to get another guy to help your offensive line, maybe two, uh, to try to help build it. Receiving-wise, you if Adam stays, you're good. If Jacoby stays, he you're good. Uh, he, he signed a two-year deal, so he'll be here for another year. Um, I think that Tucker has been great. And I think that's the only reason why uh, Renfro might be a question mark. Because he's been a good guy and he's small. He's just like Renfro. But I think that if I'm the Raiders, I'm trying to keep Renfro at all costs. Um, But yeah, unless they trade him somewhere else, I think that they're going to try to keep Renfro. Because I think he still has years on this deal. So the receiving core, really, there's only one question mark in there. um, Because I don't think Devontae will leave. Um... And then when you look at the tight ends, I mean, you have a young rookie, Michael Mayer, who looked great. I mean, I think they should go also and keep Hooper uh, for a year because I think that's a good guy to learn, you know, learn from, teach from. He's a good guy. So I think you should keep him for a year because he's a good, solid option, you know, if Mayer's not there. Uh, running backs is interesting because running backs is like, what is Josh Jacobs expendable now? I mean, we see Zavira might, and I believe Abdullah. I don't, I feel like I, I've made this video three times and I forget his name. Number 22, I believe is Abdullah. He, both of them run very well. And I think that they've shown a lot of good things behind this O line. And of course, if it was Jacobs, I think we would be seeing the same thing. 
So I think his leverage kind of goes down because I think the Raiders, especially because we don't know who the hell their GMs, you know, what their full-time GM situation is going to be. I think when you really look at it, he's he's not going to stick around for long if they don't give him a deal uh, that he wants. He might be going to the Ravens or whoever will give him his big-time money deal. Um, that being said with the offense, the defense is interesting. And by the way, before I get into the defense, because the reason why it's a big domino effect as well is because Antonio Pierce may or may not at the end of this year, he might keep everybody on the staff. He might keep defensive coach. He might even keep the OC with how decent he's been doing. But I think it comes down to, since it's th- those aren't his guys, but I don't think he would fire them either. If Harbaugh or somebody else came in, you know everyone in that staff is pretty much getting gutted because that's what you do as a head coach. You find guys that you like, you enjoy playing with, and I think those are big options. I mean, the only other option I think that if they wanted a defensive-minded head coach in the Raiders facility, there is a guy I think that would be perfect for the job. His name's Brian Flores. I think that what he's done in Minnesota is great, and I think if you want a defensive money head coach, that's the way you go. But I think Pierce is also the way to go here. I don't think you want to go anywhere. And I think I think he's a good option to other places. Um, Flowers is. Brian Flores, not Flowers. Um, <laughs> um, but the defense-wise, defensively, they they like Spillane, and I do too. I loved him when he was at the Steelers. They like Spillane. They have Crosby. They've been fighting for the 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 spot to who's going to be the the guy on the other side of Crosby, and they think they finally got it to be a hundred songs because I believe it's Malcolm Malcolm Kuntz had a fabulous game. He had three sacks. He did phenomenal and I think that that's a little breakout player and a breakout moment that hopefully they that the, they needed and I think that knowing that you have that guy that could possibly be there helps the Raiders defensive front they found a good corner in Jones who I mean obviously has a connection with Pierce I think the only thing you do is you go out and get a little more help in that secondary, maybe, and at least one or two, at least one guy that could pass rush. Like if if a what if one of the top pass rushers is available this year, I say go for him. I mean, even if they're like top three, you got to find out how to pay them and get them on the team because they need to be able to have constant pressure. Because that's what normally happens when you have a constant pressure coming from one side. It doesn't help a lot. So the Raiders have a really big question mark when it comes down to how does the team's future look. And that's what, depending on if Mark Davis makes the decision, whether or not Pierce stays. As a non-Raiders fan, and just as a, as just a, fan, a, a fan that views from the outside, and also just a guy who I like the I like the Raiders because they're my in my hometown. Obviously. So um yeah, are they not my number one team? Hell no. That's these boys. But I still act like I support this team because I do want the Raiders to be successful. Because I do like crappy teams, but the Raiders have been one of those mediocre teams for so long and it's finally time for them to either choose. Are you going to be one of the worst teams in the league, or are you going to be the top tier? And I think it's time for them to take over. Um, Personally, my decision would be stick with Pierce. I have never seen this team so electric. I have never seen this team so wanting to do something. Besides one other time, that was a few years ago with Rick Gisaccia, and he had an amazing time, and I said they should have kept him there. But here's my deal why I'm not convinced Pierce will stay. Unless he's learned from his mistakes. Because Pierce, and hell, he might do the same thing. They're still looking good. They're still in the playoff race. Is that Versace helped a team that was down. Him and Carr took that team that was disgruntled. Had so much drama going on in the organization. They took them to a playoff game. And they were this close to winning it. 
I mean, let's not forget that was the ba- the Bengals game and the Bengals reason why they have turned into this big thing where they're one of the top teams every year. Let's not forget that one of their touchdowns came from the whistle being blown and all the Raiders stopped playing the game, but they still counted as a touchdown. Let's not forget that happened during that game. So let me know what you guys think. If you're a Raiders fan, I really want to know from from a personal aspect. If you're a Raiders fan, do you, who is your dream? What's your dream situation? Who do you want to see under center next year? Who do you want to see at the head coaching position? For me, I think Pierce needs to stay unless a guy like Harbaugh says that he wants the job. Uh, everyone else, I'm giving them thumbs down. They're not getting the job. I, that's my personal opinion. Unless Harbaugh comes in, I am not going to give anybody, anybody else the job. But that's going to be it for me. I know this video is long. Uh, like I said, if this is it, if this is the last video of the year, thank you guys for supporting me this whole uh, another year down the drain. <laughs> um, uh, but no, another year, another year in the books, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. This year was great for me. I, I made affiliate. I made. Um, I made a lot of good memories and stuff this year that, that, which is awesome. And still even a few more to come before the end of the year. But if I, if I don't see you guys, at least on YouTube, I hope you guys had, even if you had a bad year, I mean, listen, I didn't have a great year either with my grandfather passing, um, on Thanksgiving and stuff. But, uh, you know, sometimes you got to push through, you're still here. So you got to keep pushing, um, I just hope that sometimes when I make these videos that people can escape getting to some deep thoughts and conversations about what's going on in the world of sports and hopefully that we can keep expanding the brand and expanding the uh, the dog industries. <laughs> so um, like this video if you liked it, comment down below your thoughts. Um, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and twitch.tv forward slash pro David underscore 777. Uh, I do live streams all the time. Like I said, I did a nine hour live stream last night and I, that will probably be, if you don't see another YouTube video from me, it's probably because I'm over there and, and yeah, I need to start doing it where I'm doing a live stream on Twitch and then I just make a video because then that way the people that are live get to see the video first. Um, and then maybe we can actually conversate during them and then I can go. But yeah, I want to keep expanding the brand. I, you know, I don't care if my videos get t two views, five views, 20 views. I don't care if my streams get one viewer, two viewers, 10 viewers. I will continue to do this. I will not continue this, uh, to just, you know, stop. My deal is I just need to get good with just whenever I'm done making a video, just saying, okay, it's good and posting it. Because I'm going to tell you right now. And if 365 days a year, I probably make a, a video at least 300 of them. Like, I make a video, but I never post them. And sometimes I make five videos a day and I don't post them. So, and you get to the point where I just say, I don't care, we'll just post them and then give you guys some content. Um, but what to look out for in the near future, since the football season's ending, I probably will do a video towards the end of the uh, the Super Bowl. Um and what every team needs to do and look at this off season, um, and then we'll continue to look at hockey and try to get into the other stuff. So, like this video, if you liked it, comment down below. Have a great day and end of the year, and that's gonna be it for me. Dominate the world, dominate because David the Dominator is out. Peace.